Barbados has done much work to counter the effects of climate change, but there is a silent predator beneath the crystal clear waters that poses a direct threat to the island's marine life and its ecosystems, the lionfish. over a period of about five years as the lionfish um, gradually made its way from the Florida Peninsula throughout the Northern Caribbean into the Central Caribbean and down towards Barbados. Fortunately, what that five years or so allowed us to do was to begin drafting our National Lionfish Management Plan. Barbados is one of the few places where we've had a head start we predicted that the lionfish would come here and that allow us to take advantage and make sure that we were ready for its arrival. And therefore, what we see right now, this, all these initiatives of culling and derbies are actually a very prompt response to the appearance of lionfish. So it's very likely that we'll be able to help control the population if we continue this line of activities. And since we've started so early, you know. With the lionfish population increasing in numbers and as much as 15,000 being reproduced every two weeks, it is time for action. The lionfish poses an immediate threat to Barbados' reef fish and the corals they colonize. The impacts on our reefs have been, have been dramatic, to say the least. We had already been having a number of challenges in respect of the reefs and the climate change impacts. Higher temperatures during the summer, um, coral bleaching, etc. But now you have a lionfish that eats up to 30 times its body weight in other fish and creatures and shrimp and whatever it can find every single day. What that ends up, what ends up happening is that you lose your grazers for algae on the reef. And so we, we're seeing a, a dramatic rise in, in algae cover on the reef, which will smother the corals and, and cause them to die. But also, we, we are seeing fewer and fewer um, fish that would normally um, uh, help to degrade the reef to produce the white sand that you see even on this beach. The lionfish raises social and economic issues for Barbados, but one way of killing the lionfish is through the hosting of derbies where fishermen and divers come together to hunt and spare the invasive fish which threatens the island's ecosystems. The divers and fishermen who hunt these predators have some interesting stories to tell about their hunt. I was actually here in Barbados when we first started seeing the first lionfish about two years ago. Um, so now coming back about a year and a half, two years later, it's pretty incredible to see the difference already. There's so many lionfish on our, we went diving today. Um, for this derby and the first dive we went to we uh, saw you know a number of, of lionfish every probably few meters there were some hiding which was a stark difference from two years ago for me um, and I noticed especially today that the lionfish as you approached them they were very skittish um, which may be uh, because there are divers in this area and going out and spearing them which is actually a really positive thing. We want people out there removing them. So I've been stung about twice already with the lionfish. Sorry, it's one of the most excruciating bits of pain you want to experience at any point in time. I put it this way, you can combine your worst toothache with your worst headache. Put them together. You've got that much pain for about three to four hours and the recommended first aid treatment in easy either. The recommended first aid treatment is to immerse that affected part in almost boiling hot water for as long as you can handle. But knowing what parts of the lane fish to avoid could reduce the possibility of being stuck with a spine. These 8 or 12 dorsal spines right up here are the sport, uh, poisonous spines, as long as these anal spines right here as well too. And then these two pectoral spines are the poisonous spines. Once you cut away these spines here then, you can then have the entire fish then for good eating along the way. You do have to use some precaution 
uh, when you're removing the spines and you, you know you, you should be taught or know what taught what to do or which spines to remove. We go now to a live demonstration of exactly how you should handle the lionfish to avoid injury. The lionfish has a number of venomous spines. It has 13 along the back. If you look at them, you'll see sticking up there. It has one in this anal fin, and it has one each in the pelvic fins. The safe way to handle it is to avoid getting stuck by the spines. It's not moving around, there's no chance of it, you know, making any sudden movement. So I simply cut off. that fin, that dorsal fin, along with these spines, and put them in a container to be disposed of. Turn the fish over, cut off the anal fin, completely making sure that I get, making sure that I get the spines off. Then cut off the two pelvic fins, these are two fins at the bottom of at the, t uh, towards the belly of the fish. And then for completeness, I remove these fins, even though, the, even though these pectoral fins don't have spines in them, I cut them off for completeness so that when I look at the fish, I know that it doesn't have anything that would bother me. Good. So this fish is now safe to handle. As long as those fins are removed, the fish is safe to handle. The, the real danger with the lionfish is to the fisherman or the person handling it. And once he gets those spines off, it is safe. Having prepared the fish, the next step is to cook it. Officials at the Coastal Zone Management Unit are assuring Barbadians that the fish is safe to eat and they should include it in their local menus. Once all the spines are removed, the fillet is uh, very tasty and very safe to eat. Uh, we eat all of our reef fish here in Barbados, so this is really just another reef fish um, like all the others that we'll eat. We've had uh, lionfish sushi, lionfish soup. Um, grilled lionfish and it really is a delicious fish just on its own. It really doesn't need any kind of spice or additives and can be cooked in numerous ways. From the local side, I prepared cuckoo and lionfish in a steam, steam sauce. And then I did sushi, which is the, the Asian side. Now with all this cooking, the aromas are getting stronger. We're going to take a look now to see what some of those who have sampled the lionfish have had to say about its taste. I sampled the fried lionfish, I sampled the sushi, I sampled the, the another sauce, uh, it's like uh, pan seared. My fish, I also sampled the soup, which is very good. Eating lionfish helps protect the reefs, and you know, it's, it's a good thing to do. It's very good to have the lionfish, you know, because one telling you the, the taste is very good, and you'll protect the reefs by taking out the lionfish. That's a fact. This is really not the first time I've eaten lionfish, but the first time for many, many years I've eaten lionfish. I, I have eaten what we commonly call raw barbara sculpting, which is probably the lionfish. Um, I all told me, I thought it was a very tasty fish in the day. So this is refreshing my memory as to what it tastes like. And um, as you ever say, it's an extremely tasty. I, I think it's something that, you're, that, that people would like. Um, I'm having the pan fried version here. Uh, I, I had also had the soup. Um, I didn't even know that they didn't like the lionfish soup, but um, that was also tasty. I've had the pan, panko fried flying fish and the soup gula bess. 
sorry, lionfish. And this is the raw sashimi. And you just put a little soy sauce and wasabi and ginger there. And then you just eat it. It's delicious. This is the first time I've tried lionfish. I found it to be very nice. It takes out the flavors and the food and stuff, and I think it's really nice. Yes, definitely I would love to enjoy it when I go to restaurants and stuff on the island. I really want to encourage the uh, fishermen to go out there and catch the lionfish. Uh, it's taking off in all of the restaurants, so there's a demand for it. Um, so we just we need everybody to start bringing them in. They're delicious and they should be worth their while. So as we continue to take action to protect Barbados' coastal and marine life, remember the lionfish. Spare it, clean it, cook it, and eat it. Thank you for joining us. welcome your feedback on our programs. You may email your comments to bgisfeedback at barbados.gov.bb. You may also view our website at www.gisbarbados.gov.bb or subscribe to our YouTube channel, the BGIS.